start this video off by telling you seven reasons why your vision board has not manifested the way that you have wanted it to. Number one, and these are in no particular order, but number one is a lack of clarity. You have not defined your goals. When you do not specify enough what it is that you're actually trying to bring into your life, it has vague intentions and vague intentions definitely do not bring about clear manifestations. So that is definitely one reason why your vision board has not manifested. Number two on this list is a mismatch in your belief system. So if you're making all of these vision boards, you're putting all of these cars, these houses, this, that, these luxury travel destinations, you're putting all of that on there. But do you deeply feel as though you deserve those things? Do you deeply feel that you can actually acquire those things? So if your subconscious is not right and you have this deep inner feeling that you're not actually going to get those things, you will never, ever, ever manifest the things that you're trying to in your life. So I want you guys to pop a pin in that one for just a second because we're gonna circle back to that one in just a minute. Number three on this list is you have had zero actions, meaning that, okay, you're trying to manifest these things, but have you been about that action? I'm just saying, have you put in the work that's actually going to get you those manifestations in your life? Number four on this list is probably something that everyone suffers from, but the reason why that board is not manifesting is because baby, you have had zero patience. Everything is not going to happen when you want it to. And honestly, there is a reason that you have had a time delay in your process. I know the reasons now why I have had a time delay in the things that I'm trying to manifest because I had to become the person that I needed to first in order for me to sustain that lifestyle that I'm trying to live. So a lot of us need to exercise a lot more patience in this process. And that's the reason why we have not yet manifested those vision boards, which honestly kind of brings me into the number five reason why your vision board has not manifested. And that is due to misplaced energy. Obviously when we have an impatience going on and things are not happening the way that we want them to, we start getting negative feelings. We start getting negative emotions. We start feeling like, is this really gonna happen for me? Everything about your thought process changes. So then your energy changes. So you cannot bring any kind of manifestation into your life if you are filled and charged with all of this negative energy and being impatient and all of these things. So you have to get your energy in check. Now, some may agree, some may not, but number six on the list as to why you may not be getting that vision board manifested in your life the way that you want it to is because there is an overemphasis of materialism. Now, I'm not going to say that it's a bad thing to have material things on your list, but if all you can focus on is the material things that you're trying to get, then maybe you need to take a step back and think about the person that you need to become. Once again, you're not yet the person who can manage the types of material things that you're trying to bring into your life. So just, you know, just, just think about that. <laughs> and lastly, one of the biggest things that keep us from actually manifesting those vision boards is maybe you have a lack of gratitude again. You have to have patience to bring these things in your life, but you also have to realize everything about your life right now, you need to show gratitude for. I know y'all have seen on my other videos, but I have brown trim in my room, okay? I don't live in a house that has all white walls and all white trim and this and that. I have to be grateful for what God has blessed me with right now. I have to be grateful for what the Most High has provided for me in this moment grateful for what it is that you have right now so that maybe down the line you can start acquiring those things. We all know with the attitude of gratitude you can bring into your life just about anything that you desire. So welcome or welcome back my loves. Why does my hand look all retarded because I didn't even pick it up off the bed. Anyway thank you so much for dropping in on today's video. As promised for you guys I am making my vision board video. This vision board is most likely not going to be like anyone that you have seen before. I know a lot of people say, oh, personalize your vision board. Do this and do that. I'm going to take a different kind of approach when it comes to the vision board. So before we jump in, obviously we need a couple of supplies in order to make this vision board, sweetie. So you need your poster board. You're going to need some glue. I've got some scissors. 
a pen. I've got some sticky notes and I will tell you why in a minute I have the sticky notes, but I have that and I have my pictures ready to go. Just to give a refresher, I am making my vision board based off of everything that I did in the creating a tactical game plan video. So if you have not watched that video, I will go ahead and pop it in the corner over here so you can check that out. But basically let's go over what my strategic plan was and I will give you guys kind of the setup of how I am doing, doing my vision board today. So my strategic plan, let me go ahead and unlock my tablet because I wanna make sure that I'm giving you guys exactly what I gave. So for my strategic plan, I had very specific goals and very specific areas that I wanted to work on for this first six months. So as a reminder, my strategic plan for the career goal, I have to hit 100K on YouTube and to create content full-time and step away from corporate America. My health and wellness goal is to hit my goal weight. I did not ever say my goal weight, but I know what it is and I know where I need to get to in order to reach that. So it's to hit my goal weight and become the healthiest version. Personal development is to become Pinterest inspo for someone in the area of soft feminine woman, poised and polished woman. And then lastly, I have finances to become financially well-rounded and in education and in learning. I have new habits, intellectual growth, and to become more mentally stimulated. So just one more thing before we actually jump into creating the vision board. I told you guys to put a pin and the number two reason that I gave as to why your vision board is not manifesting, which was mismatched belief. This is where my approach is going to be a little bit different from what I've done in the past and different from maybe what a lot of other people do out there. I have not seen every single vision board video, but I feel like my approach is just a tad bit different when it comes to what I'm about to say. Mismatched belief is probably the number one thing personally that I struggled with. I've talked plenty of times before as far as you grow up all of these years. I've got 33 years of certain belief systems that are drilled in me, right? So I've created vision boards in the past and I always tried to figure out why are my vision boards not coming true? I've put my favorite cars on there. I've put these townhomes on there. I've put travel destinations. I put these luxury designer bags on there. All of these things that I want, right? Well, deep in my subconscious, I've always kind of felt like, well, I'm just a small town girl. Those things don't happen for me. And that has actually shown a lot in my life. Even though that was something I thought that I dealt with, it was not clearly. And I still had this deep inner feeling like, girl, you know, you ain't gonna get that. Like, be real with yourself. So I have to pull myself away from this mismatched belief. I have to pull myself away from limited thinking. So this vision board is going to mimic exactly what I have on my strategic plan goals list. And I want you to pay attention to something. Everything on my six month list is giving me a foundation. I have not put one designer bag on here. I have not put a luxury apartment or townhome. I have not put my favorite car yet. I have not done any of these things. Why? Because anything that you do in your life has to have a strong foundation. So this first vision board, make it your foundation vision board. Make it the vision board where you actually become the person that you need to be again in order to sustain the lifestyle that you are trying to achieve. Everything on my strategic goals list is within my direct control outside of one thing, which is actually hitting 100K on YouTube. I have absolutely no control over it, whether or not you hit that subscribe button. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like you should because I feel like we're vibing here. But anyway, I don't have control over whether you guys hit the subscribe button or not, but the things that I can control, obviously showing up when I say I'm gonna show up, posting when I say I'm gonna post and all of these things. That is the one thing that's out of my control. Everything else on this list is within my control that I can do 100% myself. So when I create this vision board, I again, I'm creating my foundation. I'm creating the person that I need to be 
to sustain the things that I'm trying to get a little bit later on. And then on that next six months, maybe at that point, I might say, okay, within this six months, I know that I want to get my new car or within this six months, I know that I want to take at least one trip or whatever. You can build on it. A vision board is not meant to just be one thing at one time. So I feel like I have rambled on enough. So let's go ahead and jump into creating the vision board. All right. So I've taken all of my pictures. All of my pictures are separated by category. So I've got my spiritual, I've got my finances, I've got my lifestyle, personal development, I've got education and learning, I've got fitness, and I've got hair and skin goals. Every one of these pictures represents my tactical plan and my overall strategic goal. So I've pulled pictures that match the overall strategic goal, but I also have pictures of my actual tactical actions that I plan on taking. Now that I have everything separated, I'm going to kind of craft my board and just, I'll zoom you guys in so you can kind of see, we'll montage it out just a little bit and then we will come back. So this is what I have put together so far with my vision board. I've tried to group everything together as best as I possibly can, just so everything kind of flows from one category into the next. So what I'm showing you here is at the top, I have my financial category, and then it kind of flows into the spirituality and so forth, so on. In the center of my vision board, I have this quote, and honestly, I love this quote. I will try to find it and pop it on screen, but it is a quote that goes over the next six months. And it's just kind of a note to self as far as the next six months and dedicating that to yourself. Also, what I'm showing you down there in the corner is another quote that I um, picked up that kind of aligns with where I am. It's okay to outgrow yourself. So a lot of what I have on my board just really pinpoints to where I am right now in life and how I want to move forward over the next six, six months specifically. What I'm pointing out down here before we get to the top area is my career section. So obviously I have my 100K, little my cake and all of that good stuff. And then you see a picture of my YouTube studio. Just basically what I'm pointing out here is to remember to personalize everything. I'm going to cross out the subscriber count that I have right now and I'm going to go in with some white out and change that to 100k. Same thing I'm pointing out right here with the content manager picture. I'm going to go in and I'm going to write specific things on there that I want my content manager to look for once I obtain one hopefully and prayerfully later on this year. I'm pointing out here, I have my image of my legs, my glowing legs. They're not mine, they're someone else's. But remember I said I wanted to have glowing legs and get rid of my strawberry legs. So again, you want to make sure that everything on this vision board is personalized. It pinpoints to your, um, your tactical actions and it pinpoints directly to that strategic plan that you have in place. So when I'm putting my images together, I kind of just play around with the images. I wanna make sure, I'm not necessarily going for aesthetics here, but I don't want similar pictures right next to each other. So I'm just trying to get good placement right now before I actually glue them down. These two images, I'm just showing these because these are good images that I can cut out. Remember, I wanna make sure that this board is personalized. So although these two beautiful women are beautiful and they have very beautiful pictures, I'm going to go in cut those out and actually add pictures of myself on top because again, this needs to be personalized. So we have one little other touch that we can put onto this vision board to really personalize it. And that's where you're going to grab those sticky notes and put those to use. So what you're seeing here is a present tense statement. We want to speak as if these things have already happened. So not necessarily an affirmation, but just making notes to yourself actually thinking about how you would feel in that moment when you reach that goal. So one of my personal goals is to be able to go out to eat, but still have control over the things that I'm eating and not just using the excuse of going out and eating whatever I want. So I made a statement regarding that saying, girl, look at how well you did, you know, balancing it out and going out and not letting food control you. So again, not necessarily an affirmation, but just making statements that are present tense and speaking as if those things have happened. And what I'm doing here is just, again, showing you that I've cut those images out. I'm going to take an image of myself, cut my head off and put it on the other one. And that's it. So that is how you create a vision board that is actually going to work. Like I said, the very first vision board, you want to put focus on the things you can control. Pick out maybe one or two things that are out of your control. That way you can make sure you're putting the right kind of energy towards it. My energy, my focus, everything is focused on hitting that 100K goal. But in the meantime, I have plenty of things on this vision board that I can do for myself, things that I can actually control and things that I can actually 
hit, goals that I can hit. As you can see, I have one little blank spot down here. That is for that silver K plaque. I need to run to the store and get that printed because I don't wanna put the gold one on here. That's not the first goal that I wanna reach. I have to reach the silver, so I have to make sure that I have the right picture in place. But other than that, that is the whole vision board. I will go in and just make some small little personalization things, making sure that I put 100K on my little screenshot of my YouTube studio that I took, putting my face on top of the faces there just to, again, make it super personalized. But I really hope that this vision board video helped you out, especially if you have been wanting to make another one, but you just kind of feel like it hasn't been working. Maybe some of the things that I mentioned earlier in the video will kind of get you on the right path to making sure that you can create that strategic plan get the tactical plan actions in place, and then you can print off pictures that actually align with your goals instead of just putting random pictures on your vision board. It's focused, it's detailed, and we all know in order to get that manifestation to happen, it has to have the details. So again, I hope this video was super, super helpful. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Tell me if this is something different that you've seen as far as the vision board video. Again, like I said earlier, I have not watched every single vision board video out there, okay? But I do feel like I am taking a different approach than what most people take, which again, is just laying down your foundation with this very first vision board. That is all that I have for you guys today. I'm sorry it has been such a late post today. I've got a lot of things going on in my personal life and I will fill you guys in on that on the next video. But until then, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of the support that you guys have shown me, all the love. We are hitting this goal together. This is a community. We are doing this together. This is not just me by myself. So I will check you guys on the next video. Bye, love.